cannot serve us. Hallelujah. But I have called you friends. Would a friends be that there's a special relationship? And do you have a special relationship with Jesus? Are you a friend of Jesus today? Hallelujah. In Genesis 18, 17, it talks about Abraham and it says, Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall bless on him, hallelujah, in him, hallelujah. Just as Abraham's seed is blessed, our seed can be blessed if we walk in righteousness. Walking in righteousness is causing us to line up with the word. Each and every day we ought to be mastering skills, hallelujah, that we are perfecting ourselves to walk in God's word, to walk in his righteousness, to walk in his standards, and to obey the Lord, hallelujah. But that is a choice that we must make today, hallelujah. For I know him. Do you know Jesus for yourself? Uh, that he commanded his children and his household after them that they shall keep the way of the Lord. Let me press my claim. We that have children and grandchildren, God is commanding us. He wants us to teach our children in the Lord's way. We ought to live for Jesus. Uh, we ought to be an example of Jesus. Uh, we ought to be an example to our families, example to our children, an example to our grandchildren because just like Abraham I want my seed blessed I want the next generation blessed hallelujah yes, ye have not chosen ye have not chosen me but I have chosen you the word says that means I didn't, I didn't just choose myself and say okay I want to be saved you know I had a mindset that I wanted to serve God but it was God that touched my heart that motivated me that I want to serve God did you get that? The Lord motivated, motivated me in wanting to serve him. That's right. The word says, and ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Bearing fruit, what kind of fruit are you bearing today? Are you sowing peace and love and joy among the brethren? Are you going the hedges and byways? Are you bidding them to come in? Are you spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ? Ouch, hallelujah. Are you doing just that? Praise the Lord. These things I command that ye love one another. Hallelujah. Now to love me means that I agape love, the unconditional love that love me in spite of myself. I love you in spite of yourself. I look your iniquities. I look past your thoughts just as Jesus he forgives us and has mercy on us. That means that the sins that we formerly committed because of God's mercy and grace, God forgives us. And when God forgives us we no longer have to keep a record and be depressed and be down because of the things that you used to do because now you were born a new person in Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. Have I not chosen the twelve? And John 6, 7, he says, Have not Jesus speaking? Have I not chosen the twelve? And one of you is a devil. One of the disciples betrayed Jesus. So we that are the examples walking according to the standards of Jesus, walking as disciples, do not portray Jesus unto death. Do not portray each other because when you portray each other, when you talk about one another, and when you tear down each other, you're actually portraying Jesus and you're not walking in the love that God commanded us to love one another. Yes, Lord. I speak, I speak not of you all. This is John 13, 18. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen. God chose you. Do you not know God chose you? It isn't by accidents that you're sitting here today. God chose you for a purpose. God has given us gifts and talents for the body of Christ to build the kingdom of God. There's a work for all of us to do. There's plenty in the vineyard. Hallelujah. I will not 
Biri de ela. Jesus. Hallelujah. But that the spiritual, that the scripture may be fulfilled. What is that? He that even bread with me hath lifted his heel against me, and that was Judas. The last supper, hallelujah. If you were of the world, and listen to this now. If you are of the world, the world is going to love you. The world means you're carnal. You're sinning. You're doing things that you ought not to be doing, but it's never too late to get it right. It's never too late to say, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Lord, I repent of my sins. Jesus, hallelujah. But because you are not of the, of the world, it says, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Do you not know when God chooses you, there's a change in you, there's a taking over in you, hallelujah, that when God chooses you for his purpose, he is expecting us to walk on that narrow road. There's some things you got to say no to in order to please God. You can't say yes to everything that comes. We cannot compromise Jesus. We cannot compromise what God has called us to do. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because he is not of the world, you are out of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Do you not know when God called you and you changed your life? Do you think everybody's going to be walking with you because you chose to serve the Lord? Not so. There's going to be some folk talking and saying this and that. But when God bring you out and when God choose you for his glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. So if you don't love God, you don't love me. And how can you love me unless you love the Lord? How can you love me unless you live by the word? How can you love me unless you serve Jesus? Yes. You be quiet and serve God and do and be about your father's business than to be yapping and yapping and yapping all the time. Oh, we got to stay before the Lord. I don't know about you, but I know for me, hallelujah, I've got to stay in the word. I've got to pray and I've got to fast, hallelujah, each and every day that I get up because I know I might miss the mark. I know I might make, make mess up. was manifested. The love of God towards us. In this was manifest the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. So that means we can't, we can't do anything unless it's through Jesus. Did you get that? We can't do anything. You talk about healing. You talk about deliverance. You talk about you needed God to answer your prayer. Well, everything is through Jesus, hallelujah. That's right. Well, I call on Jesus now. I don't care what it look like. If I feel like calling on the name of Jesus, I'm going to call on the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Yes. And it doesn't matter who's looking at me, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Herein is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us. Jesus loved us first. And how do we know? He gave his life. The word says, but that he loved us and that the Father sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. That means Jesus paid it in full. No matter what you're going through, you know God took everything to the cross. Your sickness, your depression, the pink slip that you got, the job that you lost, the sickness that you got, the family members not acting right. Do you not know you can go to Jesus about everything and God's going to work it out? He may not come when you want to work it out, but God come in his own time. And when God comes, he always leaves a mark of rejoicing in his name. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Let's turn to Titus chapter 3, hallelujah. I want to talk